Hello, friends. Susan Axelrod here, Confidence Coach. I listened to a masterclass this morning with the Mind Valley guy. Do you know who he is? Vishen Lakiani. You probably know him as the Mind Valley guy. Someday I'll be known as that confidence coach person. He said something this morning that struck me to my core. I was shocked. I do learn and grow every day, but I didn't expect to be so moved by one statement. This was the statement that he made that moved me to want to come speak to you today. He said, I learn so much and develop so much every month that I feel like I have to reintroduce myself to people every month so they know the new me. I really felt stopped in my tracks by that one. If you've watched me, followed me, learned with me, joined any of my groups or have been a client, then you know I've had a mantra for a very long time. I learn and grow every day. So I can be in great movement, in great energy flow with the universe, right? I learn and grow every day. Sometimes it's a lot, sometimes it's a little, mostly it's about myself. I learn and grow myself every day. For the last few months, I have had more time than usual to myself, to be with myself, and to be learning about myself. I've been learning so much more about who I am and what is intended for me, what the divine gifts are that I was given, that I allow and received and now share. And so I wanted to uh, just reintroduce myself to you because if it's good enough for Vishen Lakiani, then it's surely good enough to me. I'm a confidence coach for women in the second half of life. Other people are finding me, especially a younger core of women. I actually have several clients who are now between the age of 26, my youngest client is 26, and 45. I'm coming on to 60 soon. <laughs> so when I say 45 is younger, it's younger to me. I am delighted to be working with younger people to help them get more confident, really understand the beauty and blessing and benefit of taking time for themselves. We call it self-care, God forbid, and to really learn and grow from their own personal reflection. My beloved cohort of women in the second half of life found me as I finally accepted that was me. <laughs> that wasn't easy. It took me years. But as I learn and grow every day, I accepted who I am and my aging self and especially what it is that I know I must offer, my divine gifts, my deepening intuition, my work as a coach has gotten better and better. I've been hired more and more, and my business has grown and grown. Over the last several months that I have had time for myself, to myself, with myself, for self-reflection, which is a core of self-leadership, the only way you can become a better leader is to be a great self-leader. I do it through self-coaching. I have realized that really I am all about your soul connection through my own soul connection, through my own breaking through the resistance of self <laughs> and really coming into alignment. I call that connecting to my own self energy and through my soul connection work. That is the greatest offering I have. And that is what helps you feel more confident and calmly go forth in every area of your life. I've been focusing on women in business because they've been finding me and because I want them to succeed. I want women to be financially secure, financially free, to help support and uplift other women. So I'm focusing now on women who are in business, either in business for themselves or thinking about a business, creating a business or looking for cohort in that way. Recently, I was at a store where I came upon a wall of, of artwork, you know, sayings and art and beautiful things that I was glad to be just standing and looking at, gazing at. 
And this one <laughs> just reached out, grabbed my attention and pulled me in. I was amazed because it was a very large wall of pieces like this. But this is the one that I believe spoke to me through divine commitment. It says this, be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. Be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. But in order to do that, you need to be connected to self-energy. You need to know what it is that sets your soul on fire. People find me because they're not sure. They just know they want more. And that's what I do. Honestly, as a coach, I listen to you on the phone. I filter through my intuition. And then I come back in support of what sets your soul on fire. And that's what I do every day. I do it mostly through one-to-one -one coaching. I have some groups that I love the most. I have a business accountability group. This year in 2021, I am starting a writing accountability group at the end of this year because writing changed my life and helped me grow my business. And I'll explain that another time. But for now, I'm happy to reintroduce myself to you after months of self-reflection, personal growth, and my own deepening intuition, which has set my soul on fire so much that I put myself in this hot seat speaking to you today. That's it for today, friends. I'd love to get to know you. If you'd like to make a comment, I always read them. Or if you want to contact me, my website is whatwillyourlegacybe.com. Take good care. I'll see you soon.